What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Nanatsu no Taizai ep chapter reaction. This is episode 209. Last episode, we had Elizabeth was the uh, well, the beast, Indura beast, but they were actually get taken down thanks to Sariel and Ta Tarmil helping them. So, yeah, let's go and check this chapter out and see what, what's going to be happening in this chapter. They explain these feelings to me. I'm not sure. Who's saying this? But I think we're gonna find out in this chapter. Anyway, uh, let's see. Cover page, and then okay, this is the aftermath. We see three of the four archangels, and then Elizabeth and Melira. So obviously, okay, so those two are down. We are still on that. Uh, the forest has been burned to crisp, and we don't see Galen or Frorin. They did run away as soon as they turned into the Indura form, but we don't know if they came back or if they're gonna come back. That would be interesting to see as well. Okay, Elizabeth seems really out of breath, and let's see. Are they all right? Ah, <sighs> okay, she's out of breath. They reverted to their original forms, thanks to you. Okay, that's uh, basically, he know what exactly happened, I guess. And then, now we can see Rudo CL seems really pissed off. Thanks heavens. Slop. Elizabeth. Okay, so Elizabeth passed out knowing that, you know, with a relief that they, they are okay. Um, and Melida is holding them, but it seems like Rudo seal up to something. Looking forward to finding this out. I won't allow you to live. Stop. Okay, so obviously Melida is screaming because this is hard work from Elizabeth, right? I mean, let's see. It seems like he's going with like a wide blade. He's going to slice them off. We'll see. Whoa, okay, he got actually blasted at some point by who? Nah, <laughs> okay, who is this? Oh, okay, Sir Galoxenia and Sir Doro, why are you interfering? I am slaying the Ten Commandments in the name of justice. Okay, so obviously he hate the demon clans, but he doesn't have anything against the fairy or giant clan, right? So now he's like, Sir Galoxenia, Sir Doro. He's calling them with uh, respect, obviously, they are the kings of their uh, thing. That's no fair. Trying to finish off an opponent that can't even move. No fair. And big fat cheater. No fair. Okay, so that's kind of like a weird way of <laughs> Dola, Dolo acting. And then you can even see Glocksmith is like weird. That's, that's like a bubble going on in his head. Anyway, Rudolf Seal. Your reasoning is completely sound. In a, in a war where people are fighting to death, there is no such a thing as cheating fair or unfair. Okay? As expecting of the fairy king, you understand what I am saying then. But even so, we cannot tremble all over Lady Elizabeth's action after she risked her life to serve the Ten Commandments. Okay, he is clearly pissed off. And like I said, I can't actually, you know, say what Rudo Seal doing is wrong. For him, he just want to get done with the demon clan and just, I hope at least after that, he want to live a faithful life. But um, a lot of interference. Anyway, and you can see uh, <laughs> Diane, she's like, she's so happy. Dola, uh, Bloxnia, you have my thanks. And thanks to you guys too, Sariel and Tamil. We didn't do for your thanks and don't care much to hear them. We simply Lady Elizabeth's allies through and through. That is all. Okay. Whatever the case is, you know, he's, he seems grateful. But are you okay with this, Melidas? Even though we serve, the, serve them, the Ten Commandments aren't exactly in a position where they would be on your side now. In fact, they may end up coming to try to kill you someday. Okay, so this is obviously coming from Dian and uh, Dian and Gloxinia, well, Dian and King, basically, what exactly happened, so we'll see. Well, I will deal with that when it comes to it. Wait, are we already finishing? Is this that short chapter? Anyway, look at him, he's with a bright smile and everything. And okay, those both are awakening. Let's see, uh, pff, ha. You really haven't changed a bit from how you used to be, have you? Okay, and then Meliodas is kind of confused and you can see Rudo Seal. He's kind of calmed himself down, I think. 
please. Okay, what the hell? Did we miss a page or something like that? How many pages is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, apology for the short chapter. Oh, okay. Please hurry and get better. Milly does. Oh, okay. Thank you, beloved reader, for always following along with the seven deadly sins. We had planned to make this chapter 20 pages, but Suzuki Nagawa says they have fallen into poor physical condition, so we had to reduce the length. To our readers who are look forward to new chapters every week, we apologize from the bottom of the heart as of now. Suzuki now, since is currently getting better, we sh uh, so we should be back to the usual 20 pages as of new chapter. We hope you continue to look forward to the Seven Deadly Sins chapter in the future. Okay, weekly show on manga editor department. Human and fairy outfit. Okay, human clothing sure is strange, especially Ban's clothing is exposes his entire midriff. I wonder why he's wearing something like that. Which is what I thought. So I tried making one for me too in order to be better understand humans. Well, bad. But as I thought, it's kind of feel of weird. I don't really understand myself. So, and so I tried asking him, what would human think if they saw this? Would they think it was weird? And... The top is great, but the bottom should be shorter. But don't you go walking around in front of any bastards other than me wearing something like this. So then, is that good or not? I really don't understand humans at all. Okay. So, alright. New spin-off story. Seven deadly sins. Seven days. Okay. Alright, we are coming here. Fairies with too much free time on their hands. How about all playing a... Uh, game with me old mate old mate another human game he already started dealing okay you take one card from the person to the right and if the matches one of the card in your hands you can throw them away and the person left holding the joker is the end loses got it okay uh when you say joker do you mean this well yes it is but no you haven't do you want to keep the fact that you have it? Uh, okay. What card do you have? Okay, look at them. They're all actually sharing the card. You have some of the same ones as I do. Damn it. Hey, damn it. You can't go showing your card to each other. Are we playing yet? <laughs> look at King. He have no idea what's going on. It would be a long uh, time before the fairy started to play. Okay, new spin-off story. It begins realizing his age so you can expect a much more serious so okay conclusion friends with too much uh fairies with too much times on their hand all right then let's begin so you guys understand the rules now back to square one okay we just take uh, take card right out uh, too bad i don't have any matching okay so next is my turn so take a card right nice you are getting it ah i made a pair Oh great, now do you remember what you have to do with the cards that you've made a pair? Mm, right. <laughs> Throw them away. Look at King, he took it so seriously. It's flying, it's going to space, people. Uh, whoa, those flew off the horizon. After this, they took an hour break while Helbram went to collect the card. <laughs> I swear to God, I love that part. That battle killed me. Okay. Conclusions, conclusion. Ferris with too much time on their hands. Once more. <laughs> okay, he's sweating because he went to collect the cards for, I don't know, from how far. So after you make a pair, just set it down here in the center of us. Got it? All right, let's play. Thanks to Hellbram's Unravel Indiasis, the game somehow managed to progress. Okay, look at Hellbram's eyes. Oh, doki doki. Tremble. And then... The last card, Fufu, who would have thought it would come down to this, you and me, okay? At the end, what's from Hell Queen? Hurry up and pick one. What's so focused? You won't be able to figure out which is the one Joker just by staring at. Mm. You do realize reading the heart is against the rules, right? What do you mean, what? You cheating jerk. Due to King's uh, cheating, Hellbram's wins and the game of Old Maid was finished. See, there are serious sides in the spin-off series in the manga is... Uh, okay, man. Okay, never mind. All right, I, I need to read this part. 
where is this uh, okay with firm unwavering resolve they take their first steps toward their ideal future with the death match concluded the only problem left is gotha oh yeah that is true we need to know what happening to gotha and what we need to know what gonna happen to these two though because they they both just woken so i'm looking forward to finding out what gonna happen so again this is gonna be a short reaction as well uh overall basically we get to see gloxinia and uh king interfering elizabeth passed out and meliras is being meliras as, as ever and now it seems like seems like um rudo cl is kind of calm oh that's it that's a bit more analyzing uh calm and tranquilizer visits but there is still one remain who threaten to stir it all up okay so the fact that rudo cl is kind of calm is kind of worrying that's what they're basically saying so he's going to do something stupid which i think it's kind of easy to understand anyway that's pretty much it for me for this chapter thank you so much for reading with me i know it's a short chapter but yeah uh there will be at least one more chapter this one you can go to my channel community tab that will be the schedule of when the two uh, one zero chapter reaction will be out so yeah that's it for me guys thank you so much for reading with me make sure to leave a thumbs up if you are new and i mean if you enjoy the reaction if you are new do subscribe uh we are so close to eight point eight 6.5k subscribers guys so yeah that's it for me stay safe have a wonderful day or night and see you guys with more videos